Hello, Peter checking in again, talking about the science and meditation series. We're looking at, can meditation improve my rationality? Are you rational? I'm not. <laughs> can it improve my rationality? Let's have a look at a study here. Meditation regulates the functioning of the lateral prefrontal cortex, which is part of the brain that is responsible for logic, reasoning and rational thinking. By cultivating awareness of the present moment and clearing the mind of other thoughts, the practice helps us feel more in control. Just one 15-minute breathing meditation may help people make smarter choices, according to research. Breathing meditation, smarter, smarter choices, wow! I've been putting a course together with the first part of that is breathing meditation, where I actually teach many different forms of breathing meditation, how it's affecting you, how it's affecting your autonomic and enteric nervous system, how this empowers you to feel more in control of yourself and it's part of the five stepping stones that I've created to take you to the place where you can take complete and ultimate control of your life, your mind, your body, your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts. Whoa, it's everything. <laughs> What more can I give you? So I'm, I've created that, I also created a 35 day free, 35 day meditation challenge for you to give it a go. Just once a day for two minutes, once a day for two minutes, give it a go, see where you feel, how you get on. But there you go, your rationality, how you can become more rational, more clear thinking. That's part of the Bright Beings Academy slogan is Bright Beings Academy, think clearly really important to think clearly it's all muddy everything's muddy when you look at it it's all muddy you're going to research about these different things that are happening in the world today it's, it's really muddy and, and unclear it's a veil it's like an illusion our ancestors called it the Maya the illusion of the outside world and it's muddy misty you can't clean it and what you can do which is what all our major religions have said you can clean the inside Islam, for instance, calls it polishing the mirror, or the Tao philosophy calls it polishing the diamond, which is what I trained under. Well, Christianity is, is slightly different. It calls it lighting up the Christ spark, the Christos inside you, which comes from the Greek word Christos, the, the, the Christ spark, which actually goes back to Krishna, which is Krishna, the Godhead, the, su the, the, the supreme Godhead. It's all the same thing coming through you coming through your best human being that you possibly can be and this makes you more rational obviously <laughs> you're not spouting off here there and everywhere oh you should be doing this you should be doing that why are you telling other people what to do when you can take control of yourself and then you you can gently say turn around and say i don't agree with that what are you doing here and that gives you that empowers you so much and i'm learning that right now right here in these last few weeks that have gone by. Be calm, put your point across gently, but make sure you're well researched and see the opposing argument before you bring something up, like somebody else's research. Make sure you see the opposing argument and make sure you can see it from all sides before you actually bring something up and you can intelligently put your case across rationally to say, this is how I feel because this is what I've seen. Please let me know without using any emotion or firing back any guff at me to let me know why you feel like that. And then it comes down to, you'll see the answers when you start to do it. You, you'll see, you go, whoa, hang <laughs> on a minute, there's something wrong with that. Especially when a government official gets up and starts to speak. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's incredible, it's incredible what people get away with, but it's down to you to empower yourself so that you don't speak like that, you don't get observed like that, that you don't see like that. You become rational, you have a rational mind, which is so important because our mind is the sixth sense, which is what our ancestors, ancestors said it was, the sixth sense. If you look at the hieroglyph of the all-seeing eye, the eye of Horus, that's actually six hieroglyphs put together which is your five senses and your mind. So it was looked upon as the sixth sense. The mind is your sixth sense. And to have it as a rational, clear thinking, powerful 
ally rather than a lousy master that's telling you, oh, you're rubbish, you can't do this. <laughs> you can't do this. <laughs> yeah, I suffer from that, or I have suffered from that, I still do. I do something like, I'm thinking I'm really silly when something comes in. <laughs> yeah, of course, it's a rubbish thought. It's, it's trashing me. No, no more, no more. So now I rationally think about these thoughts coming in. And sometimes they're really enormous. Like really enormous about what's happening in today's world. And it's like enormous, these are enormous subjects. And I think, okay, well, this is negative stuff coming around. It might take me a few hours, maybe even a day to get over it. And then I wake up next morning, bing, there I am again, coming back to my true self and being another powerful day where I can create things, where I'm moving my life forward, which is what we all need to do is, is to move forward together. And as Einstein said, you cannot fix a problem with the same consciousness it was created. Really important. And Tesla said, to work out the secrets of the universe, think of sound, vibration, and frequency. Two really big statements and two things to consider. We do that with meditation on this channel. You've got sound healing, sound toning. Uh, I've used that and I, I do it every morning. I feel my chakras rattling up the center of my body. Wake up, I'm bright. <laughs> Not the best conversationalist sometimes, but I'm bright. I'm thinking inside of me, getting in there and doing what I need to do to, to create, literally create a good day. So I want the same for you. So meditation can improve your rationality. There's a 35 day challenge I've got here. Just have to find it on the it should be on one of the video uh, lines I've got underneath uh, my my front page of YouTube or you can even go on the webinar I've got a webinar with, t talking about the five stepping stones I've got for transformation which I call the dream method you're dreaming yourself into a better life so you can live the life of your dreams basically that's the theme behind it to empower you to get you off out of your current position if you need to to put you in a better position that's what I want for everybody. So try the 35 day challenge anyway to start off with. Do the webinar. You just click the link below this video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Sarang Hamida, I mean. Sarang Hamida.